Hey guys, welcome back to the channel, Shane Game here, and in this video I'm going to teach you about Pathfinding Service on Roblox Studio. Pathfinding Service is just a, a service that allows you to make your characters move to a certain object, like these goals. So, uh, I have a while tree loop, which makes us, which makes my character walk to these every, every time. And in it walks around any obstacle that's in the way such as this wall, so I'm going to move it I'm going to move my wall there and it's going to have to walk around my wall it's going to have to walk around my wall but it's a bit glitched out there it's going to have to walk around my wall yes, yeah, see like that so it dodges all the obstacles so I, I'm going to show you how I use this on Roblox Studio let's get started Alright, so the first thing that you need to do is you need to get a character. So if you want to get your own character, you're going to have to use the uh, load character plugin on here. Uh, or you can go into the game and cut out your character and paste it into the workspace like I'm going to do now. This is a better way because it has the animate script in it. And if it has the animate script in it, then it's going to then your character is going to be able to move if it doesn't then you're going to need to find one in the toolbox just wait for the to load in and I'm going to get my character control X uh, leave the game then click on workspace and click on control shift and B it's going to paste in my character into the game just like this wear my Christmas outfit and uh, so if you click on it you're going to see that it has the humanoid, the health, you don't need that. Um, it's, just, it's just your avatar. But with this, you're going to need to change this script to uh, a service script. So what you're going to need to do is click on the plus the, at your name. Add a script. Uh, call it animate. Get all the uh, items that are inside the script. Then move it over to the service script. And get all the code out of here and paste it into here because if it's a local script it's not going to work because it's working on the server side not the, not the client side so what you're going to need to do is you're going to need to unanchor your whole thing so as you can see here the humanoid is anchored but the rest of it isn't so just click on anchor then unanchor it then everything's unanchored um, now to make your uh, script to make pathfind so you're going to need to insert a script and then name this pathfind you can name it whatever you like it doesn't matter what you call it um, but you're going to need to make these blocks inside the workspace that uh, your character is going to walk to so this um, just insert it in another workspace anchor it and uh, you can change it to whatever color you want or material you want change the name to go and you can have as many of these as you want, scatter them around so I've got three so what you need to do now is you need to insert a folder then name this goals Oops. and then put all your goals inside of the goals folder and it's going to be a time lapse in the Pathfinder script, so make sure to follow along, copy exactly what I do. If you want it to go a bit slower, you can change the playback speed on your video settings. Yeah, so let's get straight into the time lapse. Alright, so this is the script done now. So let's uh, click on run and see how it moves. Ok, 
here as you can see it's going to my guy to go to this path then he's going to run to this path then he's going to run to this path so let's now test it again but this time insert a few objects in the way so I'm going to put a big block here I'm also going to put one right there so, they're gonna, so he's going to have to walk around the block to be able to get the next waypoint so he's going here see so he jumped right over that block which is brilliant yes yeah, so he's jumping over the blocks so let's make them quite high so it's not possible for him to jump over them yeah I think that's high enough Okay, here's my guy. He's running through. Yeah. And he's walking he's walking around. Because usually he would just try and find the quickest route, which would just be straight across like that. But since there's a wall right here, he cannot do that. He actually has to walk around the wall. Which is brilliant. Alright guys, so this is gonna be the end of today's tutorial. So if this helped and you want to see more videos like this in the future then make sure you like, subscribe and turn the bell to be notified when that video comes out yeah, also remember any video suggestions in the comment section down below for a shout out on my videos yeah that's going to be it for now and I'll see you in the next video bye